Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Slovenians Let's Play. A new episode. So, yeah, as I said while playing the Caledonians, I will be continuing and finishing the Slovenians. Now, this episode will be rather short, because in this episode I will use it mainly to just assess the situation, what it's like, what I have to do to achieve victory, and yeah, that will be mainly it. Now, I have looked at a bit for now. As you can see, we own land here here and increase if we don't need so i have given it a bit of thought and i have decided that we should actually uh, abandon all the settlements because slug paganism isn't spreading that fast here and yeah just all in general well, i think this one we can keep it but over here definitely not that's how I feel. We don't have much income. Also, Nitrava is the same. Basically, we'll abandon all the regions that we don't need. Because, I mean, they're just... We need 70% of our state religion to construct the, the thingy. So we can win the campaign. This thingy. The Totem of the Wolf. So we in 70% state religion. Now we already control uh, an iron resource and a wood resource. So we don't need that. So all we have to do now is spread the state religion. So I have decided on giving it a bit of a thought, a bit of thought, to basically abandon all the all the settlements that I think are unneeded. So I will also be disbanding a couple of armies. Just because I. So we will basically to have more money, so it will be a bit better ready for if we need to build anything, hire anyone. So, yeah, this right now we will abandon most. No, not most. A few of our possessions. We'll keep most of them in our state. I'm also thinking of backstabbing the Visigoths just to capture Serdica, so we have full control of Tardania. And yeah, the same goes for Italia. So yeah, I think I will actually upgrade this here. Though, and I don't know why, but I'm, I'm having a bit of lag in game as well, but... Hey, I think it's better than <laughs> compared to the first couple of episodes. <laughs> like those were... Uh, yeah, because those were atrocious, not gonna lie. Like those were... <laughs> those were kinda bad. <laughs> okay, so... I'm just looking around, think of what I can, or rather of what I should build. But... I I think I don't have to build anything, but everything that we have, well, yeah, I feel like we're in a good situation right now. I will start reinforcing a couple of these smaller armies, just a bit, Don't, or at least the ones I feel like I need to reinforce, upgrade. I'll give this one just a couple more skirmishers, because I can, and yeah. So, I hope my strategy will be good, at least okay at worst. And yeah, we shall see what will happen. So, yeah, our hammer. Huh. Actually, we'll start destroying this and constructing it over here so we can build a temple in that region as well. So, let's end the turn and let's, let's see what will happen. And flipped in a, quite a bit. Oh, we also had this navy. I forgot about it. I originally set it so we could colonize Duna. I totally forgot about this navy. Now I actually remember it. <laughs> no, but I don't know. I, I hope my plan will work. I think there will the results will be immediate. At least I hope so. But yeah, we shall see. We have to wait and we will see the Langobards. Not really. I feel like I don't need them as a military ally as I don't plan on 
attacking anyone yet, or rather if I do attack anyone, we will join a war against them so that we don't get the, all of the enemies, well, potential enemies, al allies involved in war as well, so yeah, that's, that's the main reason. We have to play the diplomacy smart, you gotta be sneaky wiki around it. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's see. Bastarnians. What are the cunts doing? I think they are attacking Coralis. Yeah, they are. Nice. Let's see. Oh, they took each other out. Quite a tragedy. I'm actually surprised that we have <laughs> basically so many allies. I, I think after I defeated the Huns that, well, during it, or rather because of it, I allied a lot of nations. And yeah, that's that's a big plus. Giant S plus. E. Also, the entrance here will be a bit longer, I feel like, just because more factions are here. Yeah, we will get a rebellion, most likely next turn. Just because we, well, we abandoned a couple of settlements, but I feel like it's justified. Yeah, it's justified. Loyalty secure, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it's already up to 43.2. So mainly what we will do now is build shrines. And yeah, that's that, that will be this let's play in a nutshell. I will probably fight a couple. I'm thinking of fighting Lugians just to get Arheimer. Because they do have a priestess here and she will be kinda annoying. But I also do have a spy. Rather two spies in the area. So I can use them to sabotage them, I guess. No way. Kind of. Yeah. So we are slowly Okay, we are expanding here, so next turn we should have, yeah, we'll have enough for it to grow, that's, that's good, not gonna lie, and we'll basically construct a temple there, or a shrine, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, we need to build one here as well, just because these guys, the Italians, so, yeah, we'll have to get rid of a lot of their agents, I feel like. So, actually, could I manipulate? Nah, I feel like assassination will be more profitable for us. So he was successful, that's awesome, that's nice. We should, I feel like we should attack Italia. Can we, can we do it? can definitely... I feel like we can't take them out. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna take them out next turn. I'll just wait for a bit right now. For everything to be done. To be built. Yeah, we have more than enough food here. In Venetia. Okay, we have... Slavic, yes it is. Okay, that's good. Is it spreading over here? Yes it is. But not as fast as I would like it to. So yeah, I really gotta... Yeah, I really need to capture Rome. I, I, I just gotta do it. Not gonna lie. Can go to here. Hmm. Okay, if we are... We have, what, three priestess? Yeah. Yeah, over here. Okay, so... We spread... Hmm... Actually, I'll keep her here. Just so that we can spread... I thought this... Bridge Intolerance. Recruiting Courage to Santiana. There's, there's nothing useful here. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore it. And... Yeah, we are... Slowly evacuating. We'll also destroy this priestess. Yeah, we'll just. Well, let's end the turn. I feel like we should do that. 
I feel like we should do that, like that's the best course of action. Uh, I am thinking of getting rid of Septimania as well, just because they... Let's say they aren't exactly in the same, in the same religious group as we are, and we need to have Slavic Paganism spread 70% in the entire nation, not just one province. Or at least from my experience. I, mean, I have played the Venidians and yeah. I'm more than sure you gotta have 70% across your entire empire, nation, whatever you wanna call it. Whatever you feel like calling it. Yeah. So let's see, the Langobards. Nah, it's interesting what they're doing. Kind of. Not really. Nah. They are helping us now. It's that is nice of them. I will acknowledge that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's see. The Jutes and then Exxon. Hmm. I feel like I should take out a couple of factions just to make the entrance phase a bit faster. Like, this compared to Caledonians is like the end night right now. At least that's how I'm feeling. Or the feeling I get. I mean, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Caledonians, it was over really fast. Well, here it's. It's just dragging out. Yeah, sure, I'll enter the war inside of ally. Of my ally? Why wouldn't I? They are my ally, after all. That's why I have them. Plus, it will give me a good excuse to destroy a nation, so... <laughs> that's always a plus. I think I should destroy one of the major nations as well. Or, or, or not one, a few. So I'm at war with Palmyra, or Permira, whatever you wanna call it. Those guys, in those kints. Ye cunts. Ye will elf cunts, fuck faces. Which boys? So they are moving towards us. Ideally, I should intercept that army with my navy, as I do have one in Syracuse. Yeah, yeah, rebellions everywhere. I don't care. I love it. Italia, Dacia, Liguria. Okay. It's over here in the north. They will retreat. I will give chase, of course. They will retreat again. No, actually they'll die. <laughs> Never mind, they won't. Uh, my bad, I had a brain fart. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, yeah, aggressive. We'll just slaughter them to the captives. Second, just so the game can save itself. Okay, let's get you back into Mediolanum. Okay, so... The guys, the rebels there in Venetia have been taken out. We'll continue building the religious building here. Okay, let's get this rebel army. These rebels come, they shall die. So, yeah, as I have said, this episode will be mainly assessing the situation and kind of developing a strategy of how to. How I will play. It's, this will this will be the episode, or at least the main part of it. So I will position my fleet like this. So they will either have to move their army back, or risk getting attacked next turn. Also, Italia, Italia. These guys are way too far and way too weak to attack any of my settlements. So we have enough food. So I will actually build a temple. Or a shrine, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. Whatever suits you, call it. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I know it's not the best to construct a temple right now because we do have a shortage in Asia, but we need to spread our religion. We need to make people believe in Peru's way. We gotta, we gotta convince them that they are. 
their belief system is wrong. <laughs> okay, let's get him here. And yeah, where is this priestess? She? Okay, she's here. So assassin that ideally will get critical success. Ideally, but I doubt it. Just success, okay. Better than nothing. So that we can spread Slavic pag Slavic paganism a bit more. Uh, let's see. Do we have enough food to? Why do I have such a minus uncertainty minus fourteen? Wait, what? Oh, huh, that's interesting. Okay. Well, this is what it is. What can be done about? Let's see. Do they have any? Yes, they do. They have one priests here. So let's assassinate her. So this episode will be mainly assassinating priests and priestesses. Priestesses. Yeah. Wait, we have Judaism. Where? Honestly, I find this in interesting more than anything. Is it? Where would it even be? Like, I, I find it really intriguing. <laughs> it's it's kind of unexpected, just like the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Uh, you guys can be upgraded. Let's get towards this one. This is the the good one, the really good one. Ah, uh, you guys you don't need food. Well, at least I feel like you don't need it, but I'll upgrade this pen anyways, just so that we can when we, once we rebuild, well, destroy the ruins, start rebuilding. There will be enough space. Let's see, we are gaining 1.4 per turn. Ah, that's that's kind of good. So Vlad is here. Wait, when did this cons get this settlement? What? How did they... Honestly, I'm, I'm kinda impressed. More than anything. How did they do it? They have an army right next to them, or how? I just find it interesting more than anything. So the Sassanids, can I trade with them? Yes, I'm already trading with them, but our relations are deteriorating. So I will try to give them a couple of small gifts. Just so that it starts improving. Because I don't want a war with them just yet. Because here's the thing we'll have to. Either way, we'll have to just raise most of their settlements. Because. I mean, we have to spread our religion, and that's kinda hard to do. But yeah, we have to. I feel like we should. All the settlement. Well, or rather all the nations around me, I should try to and destroy and just so that we can spread our religion in peace. Well, it won't be in a peaceful way, but just that we can do it without any major setbacks, problems. Well, yeah, I think you know what I mean. I feel like you know what I mean. <laughs> I truly feel that way. But yeah. We are slowly, but surely, gonna spread our religion to 70%. If nothing else will work, I'll just limit our... I will... I don't know, I'll just abandon Italy then, <laughs> if nothing else works. Oh shit, the Visigoths are recruiting a priestess, and the Markmans have a priestess in my territories. So yeah, it, we will have to... We'll have to destroy a lot of factions, I feel like that. That is a distinct possibility. Even a probability, if I may say so myself. And yeah, it will be interesting. Plus, the entire times are kind of ridiculous because we. Well, not a lot of the major. Not a lot of major factions got destroyed, so. That's definitely not a good thing, let's say it like that. Okay, so this is actually a blessing in disguise, because we have... Oh, well, not really. I'll just let them fight each other, then I'll swoop in, take Sardica and destroy everything else they have. 
that would be rather easy. No, I will not attack this folk, I'm sorry, but I cannot. In fact, I will do you one better, I will attack you. <laughs> the ultimate backstab, eh? So I have to find out if the Markmans have any allies. They are my second target right after Italia. So I will have to plan out. Okay, I should take Rome ASAP. Wait, Palmyra? Okay, they moved it towards Syracuse, so I can. I should move my navy into Syracuse to defend it, of course. Okay, I will play this one more turn and then I'll end the episode because I feel like we have we have played enough of it, or rather that we have that the episode itself is long enough for basically the first episode after a while. <laughs> Talia, 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 you are at war with Visigoths, Visigoths are still friendly with us, so I can ask them if I can join. They actually reject it, okay. Uh, I'll give them some monetary incentive for them to accept. And do it just like this. Okay. Mm. So, I could try to take eggs this turn, but I won't. Because I feel it's better not to move these guys into range to reinforce and we'll take Rome. Just so that we can... Actually, I already know what I'll do. I'll sack it until all of the buildings, or rather the building slots, are completely destroyed. We'll also start moving with this army towards Ajax, so we can take them out next turn, and their faction starts starving. So you can move to here, and next turn you should be able to take Ajax, Ajax, Ajax however you want to pronounce it. Okay, so let's... If I am correct, this should work, if it won't, well no biggie, we'll just... Did it work? Okay, it has not yet, so I just want to destroy all the buildings, mainly the religious one. Uh, just because we have to... Yeah, we have to get rid of it so that we can spread Slavic paganism way easier. I know I won't be able to construct the our religious building here yet, but that's all right. We'll just construct these two in the well. These two things is in Florentia and Naples. So I will leave a slot here, build slot, so that we can build a farm here as well. So yeah, we have to move these guys to. Syracuse, or Rush B, as it's known. <laughs> this is its unofficial name. Uh, let's see, they don't have an army here anymore, so that's good. It's a shame you can't man... It would be nice if you could... <laughs> the manipulation here would be the same as in Rome 2. You just... You just get them as your own. That would be amazing. Okay, so we'll have to get Visigardia. Yeah, we'll have to get rid of her. Can my priestess actually assassinate her? Could she? I think she could. Yeah, we'll have to check in. Or actually, I can send this guy to just assassinate her. Yeah, assault. Trap oppressor. If outcome. Manipulate 10 percent stopped. Eh, we'll just assassinate. Assault, sure. Let's see, Markmans, who are they? So we are their only ally, so I will actually I'll do this. And this. I mean, un I'm unreliable either way, so I can... Well, I mean, the neighborhood with our king. I will try to... Well, not try to, I will probably destroy them. March an army up from Pannonia as well. I will start marching it. So, yeah, we'll raise this settlement here, we have to go over the Carpathians, because the rag is so how long, I think it will take two, two turns, maximum three, and from here as well, yeah, three turns, and I think it will take two, no, it will take a bit more, it will take four turns, so 
I will disband a unit here and just get a unit of onagers. And that should do the trick. We'll build, of course, we'll build the shrine here. We are upgrading it here. Let's just check our price. It should be on 45%. Yes, it is. Okay, so we have captured Rome. That's awesome. That's amazing. And yeah, let's see. I will end. Oh, we have to upgrade Mr. Zdrauko. Let's do this and let's just end the turn. See what happens. And I will play the next turn a bit. I will move my armies. And I'll also take the. What is it? Ajax. I'll take Ajax. Or rather, I'll just raise it. Because I don't really want it to be. Well, I just want to eliminate Italia. That's all. That's the gist of it. So, Bustarnians, they are fighting the Visigoths quite ferociously, if I may say so. We'll have to stabilize Italy. I feel like that Italy is the most unstable part of the Empire currently. Also, we'll have to. Pannonia is also unstable. I have. I had noticed that. That we get minus 20 public order. I had noticed that. Don't worry. I am very mindful of that. As you do have to be in total wars. You have to micromanage basically. A lot of stuff. Or it can go wrong pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, let's see. What are Bastarnians up to? I'm really interested in how they will fight the Visigoths because they they aren't a weak faction, I'll say it like that. They have they have a chance. I give them I do give them a chance, that's all. I don't give them a good chance, but I do give them a chance. Plus they do hold one of our previous settlements, slows are coming. So yeah. Durakium. As it's no, that's its original name, but pff, original. Who needs original when you have when you can rename sh stuff? Ah, uh, okay, Palmyra. Let's see what we you can do. I am really suspicious of them. <laughs> so yeah, I think they are going for. I know what they're going for. I have a feeling I'll have to raise another. Navy, just so that we can eliminate them. Okay, so you will go to Bells. Or Bells, however you want to pronounce it. Oh, let's see. I can't. This river is. Yeah, this river is kind of annoying. Yeah, I'll just do this because it, it doesn't really matter in the end. This guy is getting there. Yeah, we are. Things are not looking good in Pannonia, not gonna lie. <laughs> Okay, so we are spreading our religion, that's the main thing. We need to spread our religion. That's the main part of this campaign. Okay, so they actually have a fighting chance here. Let them cower before us. So what I'll do... Watch this. Wait, they don't have any mercenaries here. What? I'm kinda surprised, not gonna lie. I can... I think if I correct... If I attack the army... The navy won't get involved, and I think we should. Well, I feel like we should be able to win that battle. I feel like we should. Okay, let's give you this. Anything else that can help you? Uh, let's see. Could this guy in Force March get all the way to Genoa? No, 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 to Ajax, not Genoa. Can, obviously, can get to. Okay, so they did retreat. That's a good sign. Now, we have barely one, so I think that if... I will move him to Corsica as well. We will take it next turn. Actually, I think we can take it this turn. Yeah, we can. We can, we can destroy them this turn. No worries. Easy peasy. I did outmaneuver them, I guess. So yeah, with the fall of Ajax... We will second and then raise it just so the faction disappears because 
well, the end turn will be slower than turn phase. So with that, I will end the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. And yeah, until next time, bye bye.